Okay, this is something that keeps on coming up and I just had a conversation with my friend Michelle this morning who comes from a similar world that I did. Um, and I was so relieved to find out that this is something that she is dealing with as well. And I feel as though that when we talk about these issues as it pertains to brand, that there are a number of levels that need to be addressed. I was doing this lifestyle, this, um, this blog uh, course a couple weeks ago, and I kind of had to stop because it was making me even more frustrated than it was bringing clarity. Because there's always this concern, this issue that I go over and over in my head with constantly about what it is my brand is. For a very long time, what I have done for a living is speak, is to facilitate, is to tell other people's stories. And I have been, I am of value to a CP24, to a news organization because I can do a bunch of different things. I am valuable because I can be funny, I can be serious when I need to. I know a myriad of facts when it comes to politics, entertainment, to issues pertaining to you know education, whatever the case may be, I'm versed in a number of topics. However, in this world that I'm in now, that is not a good thing because the first thing you face when you're going out when you're doing all these different events with people who are more established who have a brand is they want to know what's your brand so what are you doing mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so what's your focus gonna be what's the content you're pushing out what kind of content you're putting out on a daily basis i'm just living i'm just doing me right now and yes i have a lifestyle blog but it's more of a personal lifestyle blog i'm sharing things that are happening in my life and i'm hoping that it's relatable to you as well because i think it's important to bring people in on your journey and to share that testimonial so to speak so it's tricky because when you do all these different courses and when you listen to all these different experts and and, and talks and so forth and brand and finding your niche I feel like it never takes into account people who, like me, are personalities or hosts or people who have been facilitating a larger brand for a long time. I know my worth. I know who I am. I know that um, there are a bunch of things that I'm doing right now, but it's to just zero in on that one thing and I'm getting closer and closer and closer every time I do this so to you it might seem that I'm a little bit scatterbrained and I'm doing a bunch of different things but in actuality it is me bringing things into focus it is me slowly getting closer to the core of who I am and then through that, I think it'll be, become more clear to me. But I just wanted to let you know that that's something that I'm fully aware of. I'm aware. I'm aware that there's not one thing right now that I'm focusing on. Yes, I'm acting. Yes, I do my personal blog. Um, yes, I'm going to be doing like, you know, pictures and stuff on social media, a little bit of fashion here and there because that those are things I all enjoy. But I'm getting there, okay? I'm getting there. Just chill. It's coming. It's coming. But I appreciate, appreciate all your support along the journey. But um, it certainly has been frustrating dealing with that, that brand thing. But almost there.